And now in your Iowa news, diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, also known as DEI, getting nationwide criticism from the GOP, forcing DEI programs at Iowa's three public universities to undergo a comprehensive review. State House reporter Skylar Jalal dives into what changes the study group from Iowa's Board of Regents is recommending for universities. A group made up of three Board of Regent members now recommending a total restructure of Iowa's public universities DEI programs, proposing to eliminate any functions not needed to comply with federal or state law and accreditation. What these bipartisan recommendations do is begin with strong trust back in our higher education system. I'll note that this is a bipartisan board that recommended the elimination of DEI in our public universities. Uh, they came to realize that it is being used and is being used against the taxpayer to fund it ultimately. While defined in a variety of ways, the University of Iowa's website says its program works to maintain a civil campus culture by practicing and teaching respect for everyone, regardless of visible or invisible disability, race, ethnicity, veteran status, sexual orientation, or religion. And that's why diversity is so great because we can have people from all different situations and walks of life get together and we can have these conversations and see different sides to things. Iowa Republicans following national trends last session proposed to dismantle DEI programs from Iowa State, the University of Iowa, and the University of Northern Iowa, believing the program pushes an ideological agenda. GOP State Representative Taylor Collins says the programs ultimately don't work and is calling on Iowa's Board of Regents to approve the recommendations. What we are doing is we're uncoupling DEI from many of the necessary things that are needed in our public universities. You know, many folks when this bill was initially proposed, they wanted to say it affected student services and affected compliance. All those things existed before DEI, and they will exist after DEI is eliminated in the state of Iowa. State Democrats are still reviewing the 65-page report, but overall say they support the goal of the DEI program, creating equal opportunities and resources for all students, no matter their background. I feel like we look at that individually, not just say, you know, if it doesn't meet this, 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 and, you know, we're going to lose funding if we don't, you know, follow those, then get rid of it because a lot of those programs still hold a purpose. In the upcoming legislative session, Representative Collins says he'll be working on more proposals impacting higher education, but doesn't have specifics yet. In Des Moines, Skylar Law reporting.